Hello guys and gals, Lloyd Dobson here coming to you from my branch office here in Treasure Island, Florida with the second part of some strategies for wealth and happiness. To digress a little bit and review with you from our last video guys and gals, we're going to uh, hear a great number of ideas, ideas that have uh, helped successful people accomplish more of their goals achieve certain wealth and experience greater joy and satisfaction in their lives how to be a bigger winner how to choose the lifestyle of achievers how to develop the critical advantages that lead you to major accomplishments and prosperity and how to attract opportunity and begin a stronger more successful life today the first key word is fundamentals this word is the basis for all our quests towards success. The key word in making our lives work out well. Those bases that build the foundation for accomplishment. And remember, there are no new fundamentals. It would be like someone saying, hey, looky here, I have a brand new antique. You'd have to be a little suspicious, right? Okay, so don't go looking for the exotic for success it doesn't fall out of the sky it doesn't have any mysteries success is merely the natural results that comes from the consistent application of the practical fundamentals mister Eigenbrook shared with me that there are always a half dozen things that matter the way things work out so if you go to work on and seek out those half dozen things it is absolutely amazing how your accomplishments will work out. The second key word for us to consider is wealth. Wealth is the word that brings about a wide variety of visual images. This word is where the dreams are. This is where inspiration comes from. And this is where true incentive is born. It's the mystery and mixture of mental image, the stuff and the staff of life. Its right use, its constant use, is a way to a life unique and a life of abundance. Now, to one person, wealth means having enough funds to do whatever you wish to do with your life. It may mean freedom from debt, freedom from the constant claim of obligation. To another, it means opportunity, and to many, wealth means a million dollars. Boy, that's a unique word, millionaire. It reigns of success, freedom, power, influence, possibilities, benevolence, and excitement. Not a bad mental image, huh? Now, we could talk about the wealth of experience of friends, of love, the wealth of family, and the wealth of culture. Wealth of many kinds, however we will focus on the wealth of financial freedom wealth that comes from the conversion of effort and enterprise into currency and equity for each of us the amount of money to be wealthy will differ but the dream for all of us I am sure is the same freedom from financial pressure more freedom of choice to enjoy the opportunity to create and share wealth the possession of financial resources that improves the quality of your life and gives you added dignity and of lifestyle so decide for yourself what wealth means to you latch on to your own mental image and let's see if the ideas I'm about to share with you makes sense and perhaps provide you the inspiration to put the plan into high action so as far as the days past, you will discover a growing sense of freedom and dignity, self-worth, substance, and a lifestyle. The next key word is happiness, the universal quest. Happiness is a joy. It most often comes as a result of positive activity. Like wealth, it has a wide variety of meaning and, and interpretations. Happiness is both the joy of discovery and the joy of knowing. 
It is a result of an awareness and a full range of life, the color, the sound, the harmony, and it is the joy of designing a life and practicing the fine art of living well. Happiness is being in control of both emotion and of circumstance. Happiness is the freedom from the negative children of fear, such as worry, low self-esteem, envy, greed, anger, resentment, and so on. Happiness is an order of thought, activity, and lifestyle. Happiness is contact with people of substance. Happiness is a life well lived in which a wide variety of experiences are deliberately captured to become an invaluable form of currency for you to spend and invest in your better life. For most people, happiness seems to be something left behind or something yet to be discovered. And like all good things in life, happiness is elusive by nature, but not impossible to capture. The next key word to bring joy in our lives, we shall briefly examine. It's discipline. If there is a magic word that stands out among all the words, this is the one. You will discover how positive this word is, though. Discipline is the bridge between thought and accomplishment. It's the bridge between inspiration and value achievement. The bridge between necessity and productivity. Remember that all good things are upstream. The passing of time takes us adrifting. And drifting only brings us the negative, the disastrous, the disappointment, and the failures. Failure is not a catastrophic event. It is not generally the result of one major incident, but rather a long list of little failures. Failing in life is failing to think today, failing to act today, failing to care, to climb, to learn, to strive each and every day. If your goal requires you to write 10 letters today and you write only three, you're down seven letters. If you want to make five calls and you only make one, you're down four on calls. And if your plan calls for saving ten dollars and you only save zero, you're down ten dollars today. The danger of looking at an undisciplined day and concluding that no harm has been done, you know, it doesn't seem like such a bad day. But add these days up to make a year, and then add up those years to make a lifetime, and perhaps you can see how repeating today's failures can easily turn your life into a major disaster. Success, on the other hand, is the same process in reverse. Discipline is like a set of keys that unlocks all the doors to wealth, happiness, satisfaction, high self-esteem, self-worth, culture, joy, accomplishment, satisfaction, and success. The first key to dis discipline is an awareness of the need for and the value of discipline, and especially the disciplines to make the changes. In other words, what will it take, what must I do, and what must I become to get all that I want from my life? The second key is the willingness. More than that, the eagerness to maintain your new discipline deliberately, wisely, and consistently. And the third key to discipline is the commitment to master the circumstances of your daily life, to see and harness the opportunities to make something of the sun as well as the rain, the good as well as what comes in the guise of misfortune. Discipline does many things, but most important of all is what it does for you. It makes you feel better about yourself. Even the smallest little discipline can have an incredible effect on your attitude, and the good feeling you get that surging feeling of self-worth that comes from starting a new discipline is almost as good as a feeling of accomplishing the discipline. Second, 
A new dis discipline alters your life's direction. You don't change destinations immediately. That is yet to come. However, you can change directions immediately, and directions are very important. Third, discipline cooperates with nature. Everything strives. It is a common life function. How tall does a tree grow? As tall as it can. Everything strives to become all it can possibly be. And that striving to become is what discipline is all about. Discipline ourselves to fulfill our full potential to become all that we can become. And finally, discipline attracts opportunity. Opportunity is always looking for ambition and skill in action. Discipline taps the unlimited power of commitment, the human will in action, driven by inspiration, incited by desire, tempered by reason, guided by intelligence, can bring you to that high and lofty place called the good life. Discipline, the start and the continuing process of all good things. Remember, anyone can start the process. It is not if I could, I would. It is if I would, I could. If I will, I can. So start the new process. You can begin the new habit no matter how small it is. Small isn't important whether or not you start and whether or not you continue are all that is important. And don't be deluded by an affirmation. Only affirm what you are truly prepared to do. Why would you walk in the opposite direction of your dreams? The man dreams of wealth and walks down towards certain financial disaster. The man wishes for happiness and thinks the thoughts and commits the acts that takes him to certain despair. So start a prosperous life today. Start a prosperity plan. To become wealthy, start a wealthy plan. Remember, you don't have to be wealthy to start a wealth plan. A person with no means can have a rich plan. If you're ill, start a health plan. If you're not smart, start a smart plan. If you haven't, start a have plan. Recognize that the start of the better life, the happy life, is today. Start the new journey today. Faith and action have now taken charge. With discipline, you can't believe the positive moves you can make in the first day of your new beginning. What do you have to lose? Only the despair and fear of the past? Only the dissatisfaction, unhappiness, and fulfillment of the past? Only the frustration and low self-esteem of the past? Okay, guys and gals. Here's your challenge. Make this new first day a part of the week of the new beginnings. Then the first month of the new beginnings. The first year of the new beginnings. By the time the first year is finished, you'll never be claimed by the past. Past habits, past influences, past regrets, or past failures. Now, as the Bible phrase says, you're ready to fly with the eagles. If you liked what you heard, return soon when we investigate the key word success and setting goals. Again, this is Lloyd Dobson coming to you from my branch office here in beautiful Treasure Island, Florida.